in today's update from the tennis world, Spanish tennis sensation Carlos Alcaraz is facing a challenging phase in his season. After a tough loss to Novak Djokovic in the final of the Paris Olympics, Alcaraz has been struggling to find his rhythm. The 21-year-old, who was heavily favored to win the gold medal, has not yet bounced back to his best form. Alcaraz, a four-time Grand Slam champion, suffered a shocking early exit from the Cincinnati Masters and later, a disappointing performance at the US Open, losing in the second round to Bodek van de Zandschulp. These losses have raised questions about his form and fitness, as fatigue from a grueling summer, where he won both the French Open and Wimbledon, appears to be taking its toll. After taking some time off to recharge, Alcaraz returned to action in the Davis Cup to represent Spain in a tough group in Valencia. His first match was against Czech talent Tomas Macaque, where Alcaraz struggled in the first set, losing in a tiebreaker. However, he managed to elevate his game in the second set before Macaque had to retire due to cramps early in the third. In a surprising decision, Alcaraz also competed in the doubles match alongside fellow Spaniard Marcel Granollers, helping Spain secure a 3-0 win against the Czech Republic. Many questioned why Alcaraz played doubles despite his single struggles, but Spain's Davis Cup captain, David Ferrer, offered clarity in a press conference. Ferrer explained that last year was tough for the team and that confidence in the squad was key to this year's success, despite the strength of their opponents. Alcaraz himself admitted that fatigue has impacted his recent performances, saying that he expected to perform better, but the intense summer tour had taken a toll. He acknowledged that it's hard to be at 100% every day, especially after victories at Roland Garros, Wimbledon, and competing in the Olympic Games. Looking ahead, Alcaraz's schedule remains packed. He will compete in the Labor Cup in Berlin, followed by tournaments in Beijing and Shanghai, and an exhibition event, the Six Kings Slam, in Saudi Arabia in October. Despite recent struggles, Alcaraz is determined to bounce back and regain his form. However, poor results in the North American tournaments have made it unlikely for him to reclaim the no. 1 ATP ranking this year. To surpass rivals like Jan Nick Sinner, consistency will be key for Alcaraz as he aims for a stronger 2025 season. That's all for today's update on Carlos Alcaraz. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to Grip News 2M for more sports news and analysis. Thanks for watching.